Great to have the head coach, Troy Taylor, join us now from the field. And, Coach, we appreciate it. What a, uh, a perfect day out here for this spring showcase. Uh, great to see you. Thanks for the time. Oh, thank you. It's great to be here. And it, it's always – you spend enough time here. It's always like this. This yeah. is everyday weather. <laughs> That's right. Uh, it's it's uh, it's one of the better days of the year, no question. But this is what we're used to. So we were just talking – I don't know if you're the, the end of that conversation – the chemistry between your quarterbacks and your receivers, the tight ends, the offensive line. How is your offense coming together? Good, good. You know, it's, uh, yeah, I caught the tail end. It's really about finding space and manipulating space and recognizing man coverage and getting to the open areas. So it takes, it takes a little bit. You know, the repetitions have to come so they feel comfortable. But I would say, you know, going in practice, I guess, 12, they're, they're doing a great job of it. Coach, you've got two quarterbacks that are battling it out for a starting spot. What do you want to see as far as somebody emerging to become that starting pack, starting quarterback, something that we might see on the field here today? Well, you know, consistency. You just want to, you know, you draw plays, you work them really hard, and you, you want to be able to have a quarterback that can go through his progression and throw it accurately. So it starts with accuracy, uh, most important criteria for a quarterback, and then, you know, goes into decision-making and, and all those other things. But uh, these guys are, are very invested in learning the system. It's really important to them. They love football. They love competing. So they're both willing and they they got a lot of talent now it's just can they process it can they put it all together that's what we're trying to find out through spring practice yeah and processing quickly because we got a, a glimpse of your high-paced offense here earlier in practice guy and i got to check it out what dictates whether you go no huddle if you huddle up if you're fast paced or slow paced yeah, I mean, I would say usually if we get a first down or a big play, we're going to try. If we get them on their heels, we're probably going to keep the tempo up. There's exceptions, but I would say um, that that's for the most part. Uh, we would like to play at a fast pace, but not fast pace all the time. I think you're more effective like a pitcher if you if you just don't throw fastballs all the time, if you throw a change up and some off speed stuff. So we're just trying to keep the defense on their on their heels a little bit and um, and we'll huddle as well. So I. Uh, Bobby April the third, your defensive coordinator. How's your defense coming along? What, what do you think of the state of that group? Fantastic. These guys are, are great coaches. You know, Wisconsin's been one of the best premier defenses in the country, uh, especially stopping the run and being good on third down. And those are two really important things that we want on our defense. Uh, these guys are playing hard. They, we got smart guys, and football's important to them. So they're they're grasping the system. It's a little bit uh, it's a little bit of work. It's definitely a system that uh, you know you, you need guys that are bright have good aptitude, um, and that fits the bill here. Coach, it's great to see you. Thanks for the time. Have a great practice. Great. Thanks for coming out. We appreciate it.